California, the golden state, but some people increasingly are saying it's the broke state. And like many states, it's confronting economic difficulties. And some people say California today is just plain ungovernable, can't be governed, can't come up with a budget, can't deal with all of the problems that exist, that it's too big, too many people, too diverse in terms of landscape, interests, and everything that goes on under the sun goes on in California, and the state just can't govern everything. So what's the answer? Well, a lot of people are saying things that have been said for really almost the entire history of California, and that is create the new Californias, make new states out of California. It shouldn't just be a single state, but it should be two or more separate states. Well, here we are. Can that happen? The answer is yes, it can. Under Article 4, Section 3 of the U.S. Constitution, any state can create itself into new entities as long as the legislature passes the bill and then it's approved by Congress. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? But you know, it doesn't easily happen. Let's look real quickly at the history here in California. In California, back in 1859, a bill was passed by the legislature to create two Californias, North and South. Now that bill went forward, it was sent to Congress, Congress started to look at it, and bang, along came the Civil War. Obviously, at that time in history, Congress was more concerned with what was going on in the eastern part of the country. California was just kind of a rumor way out in the west. You've got to remember that was before the Panama Canal. That was before the Transcontinental Railroad. It took three months to get to California. There was a lot of Indian territory in between the populated states and the state of California, and Congress forgot about it. So the bill never went any place. Since California came into the Union, there have been 135 bills that have gone to the legislature suggesting the state be broken into two or more states. Well, will this happen? Can this happen? It's repeatedly being suggested. But let's look at some of the pragmatic political considerations. Not only does the Constitution allow it to happen, it has to be approved by Congress. And there, people say, is a real problem. And they say, let's look at the history. When Alaska and when Hawaii came into the Union, they both came in at the same time, essentially. But each came in as a result of the other, many people point out. Why is that? Because the guys sitting in Congress sit there and they want to make sure that their party is going to have essentially the same kind of representation it did before a new state came into the Union. So you're not going to have a conservative, primarily Republican state come in unless it's going to be balanced by a Democratic state. So when Hawaii came in, Democratic state, it was balanced by Alaska, both states came in, neither state, many people argue, could have come in without the other. All right, so what would happen pragmatically if California were divided into multiple entities? Well, some people are suggesting it's not just two states, but that it should be three or more states. And some people say in order to make this thing happen, we really should have four states created in California. The state is extremely large, almost 1,500 miles of coastline, almost 40 million people. There's plenty of people and plenty of land to make multiple viable states. So what would the new Californias look like? Well, let's take a look at a map and a proposal. Some people say what we need to do is create the new Californias with a northern coastal state, a southern coastal state, a central northern state, and a central southern state. What are the advantages of this? Well, the coastal states would have various interests that were in common. The northern coastal states, the southern coastal state would have things in common with their each state. What I'm saying is that the northern coastal state, being northern, has some concerns with their beach and their forest industries and various other things that aren't in common with the southern state and therefore there should be two separate entities. The central states would be also separate because of the different interests, the different kind of economic concerns in North Central California with South Central California. South Central primarily being a desert area, North Central primarily being a large timbered area. All right, 
But why four states? Why four states? Well, people are saying you need four states because you need to have a balance. The coastal area is going to be primarily liberal in all the elections. San Francisco, Los Angeles, generally vote on the Democratic side of the ticket. Central California almost always votes on the Republican side of the ticket. Therefore, if you had four states, they would pair up and you would have two senators from a north coastal liberal state, two senators from a south coastal liberal state, two senators from a north central California, and two senators from a south central California. And in all probability, when it's over and done with, you would have four senators who were Democrat and four senators who would be Republican. People say if you do that, this has a real chance of passing through Congress. Because if you do it any other way, then it's not going to quite work. Three states obviously don't work because you don't have a pairing. Two states, where are you going to draw the state lines? Because, gee whiz, if you draw it across the center of the state, there's not going to be a whole lot of commonality between the central part of the state and the coastal part of the state. Therefore, making four states, in their opinion, makes political sense. And can it happen? Well, as we've pointed out, it can happen. Under the Constitution, the legislature simply needs to approve it, and it goes off to Congress, where the political wrangling takes place. All right, we bring you this story today because there's been increasing amounts of discussion about creating the new Californias. And here on Law Talk, we just want you to know how the law works so you understand how the law affects you and how you can make the law work for you. I'm David Allen.